Roger Williams Park, tucked into the southwest corner of Providence, was designed and built in the late 1800s to create a natural oasis in the midst of the growing capital city. Today the park is still a spectacular, if underappreciated, place, filled with classic Victorian architecture, unique statuary, ancient trees, and beautiful views along the forested shores of its ponds. But today those ponds, which form the heart of the park, are in trouble. In summer, the shallow waters are overloaded with nutrients, especially phosphorus, feeding the growth of excessive weeds and algae. The park is now trying to improve water quality. One way is to prevent runoff from entering the ponds from surrounding roads and parking lots. Another way is to control the population of Canada geese. One of the major internal sources of, of phosphorus in the, uh, in the park ponds is the resident population of uh, Canada geese um, that uh, are in the park. In the old days, the, the geese would come in October, stay a couple of days, and head south. But now we have this permanent population of, of three to 400 geese who live in the park. And they are staying here because there's plenty of water, grass, and the public feeds them. And so we are in need of getting rid of the geese and managing the geese population because they produced uh, literally thousands of pounds of, of geese feces which produce uh, phosphorus for the lakes. And so the public isn't generally aware that the geese are a problem, so we have a big education uh, hurdle uh, on our plate to let the public know they shouldn't be feeding the geese. And um, so we're, we're going to be managing the geese population and trying to get it down to a more manageable size, then that'll have a tremendous impact on reducing the pollution into the lakes. Advocates hope that as the water quality improves, the ponds will provide a healthy breeding habitat for fish as part of the Narragansett Bay watershed.